Sure. I love watching these two play. The, yeah. They've played so much, probably more than anyone in New England. Also, shout out that. to 6WX, because I, I really enjoy watching 6WX yes, play. Yes, his, his, um, uh, his Sonic is also very You know, all the Sonics, all the top Sonics are amazing, because they just keep changing, getting better, bigger. And they're all different, like Static Manny, too. He plays, nice. like, a different <laughs> style, but it's effective, so I can't yeah. hate. Here we go. Get anyway, grab right off the back. Got a pummel. Uh, nothing much, though. Yeah. Pivot okay. Grab. Okay. Kraft is being super aggressive right now, trying to stay on so, Mars, taking notes from the other matches yeah, that he these, saw. These two play a lot. Yeah. And they play in grand finals at Smash on the Hills. Yeah. Uh, monthlies, they play at grand finals at Havenshine. I can tell. I can tell. Sponsor, Havenshine Gaming. Kraft uh, does not want to give him too much room to set up his tricks because Mars, when Mars gets like his zone set up, it's like, like procedural attacks that he gets off, that he gets but in there. This brings me to my point. Yes. I don't think they've played in a while. Uh oh. Uh oh. And that's what took out Ling Ling in, um, at uh, Shine because Ling Ling traditionally used to win over Kraftis. And then it, and people were like, eh, Ling Ling's got this. And I'm thinking to myself, Sonic's constantly trained. Sonic's constantly changed. This could be difficult. And then sure enough, it did not work out in Ling Ling's favor. But here we are Mars and Kraftis. These two guys. Lower air strings. Uh, DI straight out. Knew he wouldn't die from that. Great awareness. Yeah. The Hypno Punch. Oh! oh get some <laughs> planet, though. That should be a stock. No. Nope. It should not work because it didn't. I mean, I didn't know if it should work or shouldn't work, but it happened. I thought so that's going to take I, it. I honestly thought it was just going to up B. Ow. Woof. Okay, here we are. One stock down. 84% chilling on Zero Suit Samus. Sonic does not have as many explosive kill options at lower percentages as Samus back does. Back air, yup. But is that back air going to put him into a bad position? Oh, that is. <laughs> Oof. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh. Clap, clap. That the auto up cancel. Air. Oh, my gosh. Clapped him off the stage. He came back. I thought he was in the. Cr I thought he was in the crapper. I thought he was done for. He was yeah, on that stage. He was, gone. Like, he was off the uh, stage against Mars. Dude, I you don't know. Want to be there. And then he just came right back, right up underneath, and just clapped him off the stage. But, but uh, Mars is not phased at so, all. Interestingly, um, these two were the only two players in New England that got top eight at Shine. Hey. So that's that's pretty good. I am proud of the boys. I'm. More so proud of Kraftus because Mars getting top eight at majors, that's fine. Like, yeah. that's, that's fine. But uh, Kraftus, he's never really had a breakout performance. So, you know, that's that's Oof. exciting. Homing attack actually going to pay off for him right there. Just kind of chilling in the air. Uh, with each other. Not going to kill. Not going to kill, but ooh. Okay, now what is he going to do off of this? So, like I said, uh, these two have played in so many situations, so many different tournaments. So, it's like mm -hmm. they know what they're going to do in these small baby micro situations. And let's just talk about for a second about um, Mars' decision to go for the setup and the slam dunk. It didn't pay off. He had other options to kill. But here we are. But he went for still it. Still alive. He went for it. He went for it. I don't know if he's trying to go for style. What like I, I said, these two players know each other very yeah, well. Yeah, all the back air for the trump situation. So to not let the trump situation maybe get Maybe that was a, a craft specific thing where he's yeah. like, if you get down smashed, you're going to DI this way. And I yeah. can get it. But craft saw through it and didn't get caught by the setup. So Yeah, he did really his thing. Stuff. You know, sometimes those setups can be tricky. Yeah. Especially out of Zero Suit's down smash. Uh, Zero Suit just got like, a circumference of death around her. She's pretty much like on like a deep pad of death. You can die Up, down, at left, right, many you're gonna different get it. points. Exactly. Like I was saying before, she's got freaking back airs for days, son. Oh, spring ride. Wow, <laughs> spring ride up top. Three percent though. Sonic actually gonna lose out on that trade at eighty percent. Woo! Mars coming down with an aggressive down air, another thing that I see him do quite a bit. Yep. Kraft is actually playing back right now, playing defensively. And I don't think he should be doing that, knowing what Mars does these days. I am not eating my words because Definitely that's exactly not. what happens. If you give this man any room to breathe, he's going to start putting together any strategies and battle plans, and then he's going to take your stock super early like that. So don't Mars let the god of war breathe. So Mars could oh go for a setup God. there that was uh, footstool, and then he tried to get the tech chase with the paralyzer to lead into a grab or something. And I like the idea because that would have been a, a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay. Craft is doing yep. work right now, trying to get back in this.
getting these hits off. Okay, the grab's coming through nice and clean. This slow fall down air. I've seen that happen before, and I questioned it, and I question it now. It happened again! Oh, I thought that was going to be... Okay, so the way that actually works is um, if you jump out of hit stun and do it, it'll do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like an out of hit stun thing. So It's like she's falling through a vat of jello. Oh, my God. That setup was very nice, but Kratos, did not pay uh, off. See him throw it. Wow. He did it again the third what? time, but the second hit on the forward smash. What was that? That wasn't even a read. You can't convince me that he read that. That was a mistimed move by Kraftis. As he was falling down, he he figured, all right, now's the time I can land, hit him before he recovers, and he just went down a little too soon. You're too fast. Like, Sorry, okay. Kraftis. So Kraftis is going to actually elect to go back to FD there. That was my Sonic impersonation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I realized. Anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hero, I'm sorry, bro. It's all good. It's all good, bro. <laughs> but uh, going to elect to go back to FD. Grab whiff in there. Going to get a throw combo. Yep. So Kraftis has got to do something different here. He's got to change it up. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Zerson's jab is so good. Yeah, it came right up almost immediately after that move. Got the hit. Oh, oh wow. the grab. That second is just like look at each other like, I just grabbed you. He's like, yeah, you grabbed me, man. Like, Kraftis, I don't even know if he was mashing because he could get out of that. Yeah. And he reads a down air there. Oh, these slow falling down airs. You know, I w I'm yet to see him take advantage of these situations where he can just come and do something. Um, it would be interesting, though. Oh, these guys are actually going me. tooth and nail right now. Hypno punch, not going to pay off. Ooh, tried to read a roll, but didn't That's happen. That's generally how these sets go because these are very aggressive players compared to the, the – uh, you know, the masses of top level yeah. being rather defensive. Uh, I know Kraftis does not want to play too aggressive, but he needs to play aggressive. I know Kraftis doesn't like Campy Sonic. Yeah. Like, he's not a fan of it, and that's fine. Oh, that was a really smooth grab. Almost yeah, fluid. Kraftis' pivot grabs are uh, amazing. They, oh. like, it makes it look like that's one of the Oh, the my moves. goodness. He makes, he, gonna kill. he makes his pivot grabs look like one of the moves that Sonic comes packaged with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really, really good. Oh, my God. You guys are watching Pug West. Brother. <laughs> he did it. Fight. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, recovery, boys. Recovery. Pug West brother. Mars fighting Kraft is here. <laughs> Gums 10. Tweet us out. Let us know. Don't tweet out I'm making mistakes. Let the right here on the commentator's desk. We're having a great time here in Massachusetts. This match is crazy. These boys are ramping it up, trying to find different ways to get in here. There. Oh, wow. Oh, that actually jump with the back air. Good oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh. There. Didn't. Okay. Oh, my goodness. All right. So this is actually a super tense situation right now. These so. stunners on the ground have, like, zero recovery lag. No. Because he's able to. It's like he's baiting him into a situation where he can get the hit. That's what Mars does. His uh, his style in these uh, matches that they have thrive yeah. off baits, and I'd say the same for Kraftis, but he's more conversion based. Like yeah. Mars tries to bait you into a situation, he gets damage off that. Kraftis tries to get the spin dash conversions, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, that's that's the kind of style. Mars reading that roll there, so he baits you into rolling. Yeah. Conditions you. Oh, oh. He's got to get close. He's got to get in. He's got to do something. Oh, that's uh, this could be okay. That might have been huge. Could have gotten that. Deadly. Could have been dangerous. Could have been dangerous. Could have been something dangerous. Kraftis is going to recover back onto the stage. Homing attack. Oh, his jump got caught. Uh-oh. He's oh. all good. Come on, Kraftis. I'd love to see more games between these two, but, you know, yeah. someone's got to win. Oh, oh my, God, my that goodness. That up B in the air. That I was read. noticing Kraftis is not wanting to fight that man in the air. Okay, and Mars. that's exactly the reason why. That Okay, that read was like.